One year on, how do you think things have progressed in dealing with the issue of homelessness? Well, they've obviously gotten worse. I mean, that's, that's plain to see. Um, like a part, the biggest problem with this is, is the political state that we're in, the, the rotten heart of our political system, OK? Now, you have Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, Labour, and they have the little A4 sheets there, and they're going to tell you this, that, and the other, and whatever. The reality is there's no appetite for change. Right, because what are you going to get out of helping homeless people? You're not going to get anything. What are, what are, what these people look to a lens, like they're looking at a balance sheet. They look at people like they're looking at a number. So there's no empathetic lens whatsoever, you know? These, Do you doubt the sincerity of the three people to oh, your left? These are, the these are psychopaths and suits, I have no doubt. I suspect they are. And I think if, if you get elected, I think you should take a test to see if you're a Like, for instance, Joan Burton tried to wrongly convict a minor. Uh, of an offence in Hold on a second. That was an independent like, director of public prosecutions. Only a psychopath She didn't make that decision well, to take that prosecution. John Connor said, no worry, you're not getting sued. But only a psychopath can make a move like that. They might be psychopaths, but they're elected psychopaths. Exactly. Which makes them dangerous. Which makes them dangerous. Makes them even more dangerous because you can play with people's hearts on a balance sheet and people go home so they don't care. No, but they have a mandate. They look after Facebook. Someone voted them in. Well, of course, that's the system we live in. You might have voted them in. Believe me, I didn't vote them in. That's the only system that we have of us, unfortunately, but what does working. that say to you then about society that they're the people who get elected well, you see, and they do what people when you're vote born in that so, it's just, exactly because you're born in that society and this is the norm for you and everything you read and you're just you're just, it's just been ingrained in you so you you don't see another option you know that's the unfortunate thing now the thing is we see with the water charges and people power people are now standing up for homeless people and they're saying this is enough do you think that though the homelessness campaign will get the traction that the water campaign did because when people protested against the water a lot of it was because it was bills that they were going to have to pay the didn't want to. Yeah. Homelessness for many people isn't an issue yeah. when it doesn't affect people in their family or their friends. Yeah, but I believe in the Irish people. I think the, the, uh, uh, I think you said it earlier, they're inherently kind of decent. I think people are seeing that. I think, uh, December is the month where usually it ramps up at the empathy because of the cold and whatever. But if you look at the crowds and all these campaigns, all these rallies, they're getting bigger and bigger. A lot of people are getting involved. Big name people, artists all around. That always attracts people and it puts the pressure. We've seen it with the Apollo House. It put a little bit of pressure for you know, a little bit of time. I think, it's, I think it's an issue you have to solve. I think it's one of the issues of the Day, you know. Do you so, think, I mean, they call it an emergency. Yeah. Okay. Like, what, what do you want? Do you, like, that's a, it, to me, it could be a bit glib insofar as... It's a great soundbite, yeah, yeah. but, I mean, is it more money? Well, is it more planning it, permissions? What is it actually Is it just want? a roof over your head on a very simple level? How about yeah. that? There's, Someone's got to build that. Yeah, well, there's tens of thousands of houses that's empty across their country now. I don't care about property values going up and down. I just care about people getting in those houses so they don't freeze the dead in Dublin City. That's all I care about. I have cousins who were in uh, hotels with families for two years, three and four kids in a hotel room. I want them to get a decent standard of living. How can you even get on in life in any way possible if you don't have a roof over your head? Alan Kelly, I suppose, you went up five... Alan Farrell, percent. Alan Farrell. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Freudian slip there. Uh, you went up 5% in the Irish Times opinion poll on Friday. You're really not too bothered about this, are you? Actually, quite the contrary, Ivan. And, and I actually visited um, a hub this morning in Crumlin. Um, I went out with the, the Children's Committee, which I chair, um, and we had a look at a brand new facility that's going to house 25 families before Christmas. They'd be in on the, on the, tw on the 18th. Uh, there were three families in it, and a new family actually moved in while we were sitting there having a look at the facilities that were on That's just a token media stunt. And, and it's very simple. Actually, quite the contrary, John. And the reason I went mm. was because I wanted to understand from the Children's Committee's perspective what services were being provided to children, and obviously they're not going to affect what, what services were being provided so to their parents. Was misunderstood in the past. No, 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 it wasn't. I'd never visited a hub before. I've Only been now in, you're... I have been in homeless shelters. I have been in, in uh, super But, Alan, the numbers are provided. still rising. Well, All the here's time. The thing. Well, th that wasn't the question that you asked. And the people dying in the, the streets the, is rising. The, the, the answer to the question in relation to me not caring, because we went up by 5%, is, is absolutely foundationless. One of the most important aspects of, of all of we as a nation have been through over the last number of years is getting the economy right so that we can get everything else right. Why don't we take the 30 million off Apple? Why don't can I we take make 30 million off, off Apple and solve homelessness well, we, tomorrow? We are. John. When you're telling us, take this money, and they're going, no, John, we don't we need are. this money. No, no, no. Please, you Hang keep on. that money. We are taking the money. Oh, are you? It's, 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 it's on its way it's to its way. escrow account. But, we won't be able but you're not to going to use it. We won't what are they going to do with spend. it? No, because it's going to be... It's under... So that's like cryptocurrency or something. Something that doesn't exist. Well, look, you know, if, if I'm not going to be given an opportunity to answer the question... Well, this is my chance, actually, yeah. to talk to people yeah, yeah, like you. Yeah. Because people like you are well, the people that are controlling everything. Let everything you believe in. The Labour Party betrayed everything they believe in. No, I don't You'll never get into government again. I don't You haven't got a leg to stand on. 
on. So I, uh, well, it's, actually, it's a joke even well, you commentating on this. That's well, sorry, just am I entitled to free speech or not? Yeah, of course you are, yeah, absolutely. Your, well, but if I, I was you, I'd have more dignity. I wouldn't, I, even I wouldn't even come on this television. But she's an elected well, representative, John. I know, I know. This is the crazy her. thing. The, the fear runs deep in the people. The scars run deep in the people. Well, actually, and I the people I couldn't that she got I represent... I'm saying anybody, like, if I could pick one... Let's set Joe One TD who won't get re-elected. One second. I'd say it was Joan Burton. That's one definite... Like, like okay, a joke. Let Joan Burton Here she is. Here's Joan Burton. But, let's hear her. but what does Joan Connors know about Joan Burton or about my personal yeah. history or my own journey in life? I know, but I have no, for, for I have, working class I, people. I, I know that. Please, just let her have a chance. Well, yeah. actually, I come from pretty ordinary yeah. working class people, yeah, which is what gives me my passion for actually helping people to get work, start their businesses, and live their life. You can laugh, but that is I so important. John, John look, it so is important. easy to criticise. I mean, would you put yourself forward for election? No. No. But you're, 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 you're here hurling I'm on an artist. the dish. Then. I'm an artist. That's a lot more fun, I suppose. Uh, I get more of my own creative buzz. I was asked to come on the show. I was also a, a little bit of a fringe political commentator. I'm going to take the opportunity to have a little give out and do maybe even a little bit of a troll because there's not a lot of people are, uh, at home who are looking at the television and they're looking at people like this the whole time. They're completely disenfranchised and they're shout matter. So I've just been that person to shout at the television, basically. And do you think you resonate with the public? Absolutely. Completely. And I know people from... And I'm just talking about travellers. I'm talking about where I come from in Darndale, in my area, where people talk about a recovery. <laughs> you go to Darndale, you start talking about a recovery and you know all about it. And what do you say to people who are maybe on the industrial average wage, 38, 40 grand, and their rent, which they're mm. paying for 100% yeah. themselves, they get yeah. no help from the state, yeah. Yeah. they're really struggling. What do you say to them? Uh, I think that's terrible. It's a tragedy. And again, I have it in my own family, and the cap keep, keep, keep comes up. But I think there's something like, is it 80% that the like, TDs are, are landlords? No. That, is it, is it, is not that well, much. Just, just well, anyway, back. it's basically... I think a TD should not be allowed to be a landlord. I think that's like your, your doctor or heart surgeon being your funeral director. I think that should be just against the law. Uh, to those people, what, what can you say? Get on the street, fight back, beware of the risen people. I think something is actually happening now. I think there's traction. I think people are getting more politically motivated because this can't happen forever. Like, believe it or not, this is not going to stay like this. All right, hold on. I'll tell you, we'll give you... Very, very simple, OK? There are empty houses and there are homeless people. Let the, let the homeless people enter an empty house. I don't care about economics and this has to be done and that has to be done. That is straightforward. Empty houses, homeless people. Let them walk in. So, so the and also, the Nixon, and also on top of that, well, let people move all around the country. There are hundreds of thousands of houses. There's not that many homeless people compared to them. We're and waiting. They outweigh them in a, in a big way. Also, to, even the rent. We have to put on a rental cap. There has to be, has to be brought back. The people can't afford to rent. People can't afford to get a mortgage. That's, what, that's what's causing everything. Like, I've, I know cousins of mine who has had to, uh, had to leave rental accommodation and move in with their family because they couldn't afford it.